So, AbV, why do I like AbV so much? Hey Google, tell us about AbV. According to Wikipedia, AbV is an American publicly traded biopharmaceutical company founded in 2013. It originated as a spin off of Abbott Laboratories. Yeah. I think it's really probably because they're, they're significantly undervalued. They have a, a trailing P ratio of 22, approximately, in a forward PE ratio of, of eight. So yeah, you can see that there's potential there for the stock price to recover back to the, the mean and um, you'd make gains that way. Um, but I really feel AbV is all about the, the dividend and the potential for dividend growth. Um, they have trailing PE, uh, sorry, trailing dividend yield of 4.7%, forward dividend yield of uh, more than 5%, 5.1%, something like that. So, huge potential there. And, uh, yeah, that's why I like AbV. Oh, look. Red telephone box. Didn't see many of those these days. It's quite an old village, so you see lots of stuff like that. Yeah, so let's go and have a look at some of the uh, financials for AbV. Let's take a look at the stock performance over the last year. So you can see that the stock price has reduced significantly over the last 12 months from the high of 105-ish um, back in May down to now trading around the low 80s, $83 mark. Um, a lot of volatility in the last 12 months. Um, let's go and have a look at the, the reasons behind that. So the source of this content is provided by The Motley Fool and so AbVR are a pharmaceutical company that manufactures a, a cancer drug called Humira that is their top performing drug and what they're widely known for. Um, they've faced some challenges as you can see in this, this article um, with biosimilars on the market in Europe which essentially means that rival companies are producing similar uh, drugs and, uh, in, in the European market. Um, so AbV provided disappointing guidance in its Q4 update, primarily because of the declining sales of its top selling drug, which is unfortunate. However, AbV quickly pointed out that uh, their business remains very strong overall. AbV remains confident that it won't see direct biosimilar competition in the US until 2023. The US is the biggest market for Humira. So that means much of the drug's revenue should be relatively safe. In the meantime, AbV thinks that investors should understand just how much growth AbV can deliver from its other products. Sales, con sales continue to soar for the company's top cancer drugs, Imbrivica and Venclexta. The latter drug has a lot of potential and additional indications. So the other aspect we need to consider is AbV's early stage pipeline. And by what by that we mean drugs that are in early stages of development, either going through clinical trials or have not been yet released onto the market. And uh, there's a lot of potential um, for AbV's earlier stage pipeline. Uh, so AbV said that there will be a lot of data released over the next 12 to 18 months from earlier programs in AbV's pipeline. He especially pointed out the company's work in immunology and oncology. AbV has a promising rheumatoid arthritis drug in phase two clinical studies and the article calls out some some other areas that they're working on in with with phase two testing clinical studies as well and um, focusing on alzheimer's and parkinson's as well so there's a lot of potential for new drugs to be released on the market which will make up for the the drop in revenue that they're seeing with the humira 
um, drug. So there's no real concern there. I think you know the the uh, the late stage uh, pipeline, i.e. The, the drugs that are in the market, um, get all the attention. And if if one of the the drugs has a, a drop in revenue or has strong competition, that absolutely affects the the stock price. Um, but I think that Abvi are in a strong position to recover that, and I, I have no concerns um, going forward for Abvi. So one other thing I want to call out that I feel that investors are missing that really should not have uh, resulted in their stock price uh, falling so so much over the last 12 months, um, and that is the new immunology drugs that Abvi um, are soon to release into the market. So. This one appears likely to win Food and Drug Administration approval in April. That's this month uh, for treating treating psoriasis, um, and this one shouldn't be too far behind. So these two candidates are both expected to be tremendous commercial successes, along with Imbrivica, Venklexta, and Orelisa. These are just the, the names, the, the trade names of their drugs. Um, they're key components of AbbVie's goal to generate 35 billion in non Humira sales in 2025. So, by comparison, AbbVie made 32.7 billion last year with Humira, accounting for more than 60% of its total. So, you can see how much the, the other drugs are going to grow and, 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 and really fill that hole in their, in their revenue stream. So, you know, again, no concerns there. I really shouldn't. Uh, I really don't see why their their stock price would have dropped recently because the the long term performance of this company should be really strong. Let's just take a look at their financials and the performance of the company over the last few years. Um, I always like to to focus on uh, their revenue and their gross profit. Um, so these numbers are in thousands. So in uh, 2015, they they had revenue of just over 22 billion um, in 2016. That grew to more than 25 billion. 2017, more than 28 billion, and last year they posted more than 32, nearly 33 billion. So, you know, regular steady growth there. Great performance by Abvi, and you can see that their gross profit, you know, the GP is is growing in line with with revenue as well which is great to see just means they're a really healthy company they don't you know they don't have high levels of debt or that they're, they're not having to invest a lot in r d and and really as their revenue grows their their profit grows um alongside that so that that's really great to see let's just have a quick look at their balance sheet to look at their long term debt it's so another thing I like to focus on so here we go you know 1 billion 6 billion 2 billion is perfectly in line with a, a company of this size with um, that's generating revenues of uh, in the region of 32 billion so you know no concerns there at all it's perfectly in line with uh, with their performance as I said in the intro, Abvi are a really strong dividend growth company. Um, that's the reason why a lot of us invest in, in Abvi. They have strong performance, but the, the growth in the, in the dividend um, is, is really impressive. So you can see they started out in 2013 with 4.7%. Um, and over, over the last few years, they have regularly increased the dividend um, up to the last quarter paid out. Uh, $1.07, that's a yield of 5.1%, which is, you know, it's superb. It puts them in the dividend aristocrat category. And uh, yeah, I, I see no reason why that, that dividend yield would not increase over, over the coming years. So. Beautiful old cottage uh, in a village close to where I live. Um, yeah, so anyway, AbV. Why do I like AbV? Well, you, you've just seen uh, the huge potential for um, dividend growth. You know, it's one of those stocks that you, you can buy in, with a really long term strategy, keep it for 5, 10, 20 years, keep earning that, that dividend 
watch it grow. I mean, they have a, already a history of growing that dividend, um, and yeah, reap reap the re rewards that way. So, um, yeah. So that's probably it for now. Um, hit the like button if you like this video. No smashing, no smashing the like button or smashing the the subscribe button. Um, so yeah, like like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to see the next one. And there's a car coming behind me that's just about to run me over. Yeah. That's what happens when uh, you film live. So there we have it. Uh, that's the end. Maybe see you next time. And uh, hopefully, hopefully see you next time. See you on the next video. I think uh, it will probably be a, an, an app preview. I'll probably do a better video of the Moneybox app. Um, so I think that's, that's really popular at the moment. And I've just saved more than 500 pounds on that app. So really good opportunity to, to improve the video from last time. So yeah, see you then. Like. Subscribe. See ya.